Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a look using the new Tartlet Toasted Palette. I picked this up yesterday for the Ulta 21 Day Beauty deal and I got it for I think like $18. Usually it's $40 something. I'm going to be doing a look with that and I do have some new products that I got yesterday that I'm going to be reviewing in a haul video, um, maybe tonight or tomorrow. But as you can see, I already did my eyebrows and I am going to be starting with the Tartlet palette for eyes and then we'll move on to face. Start with my usual primer and I think that I'm going to be getting a new one soon. So we're just going to get that put on. I am going to use the cashmere on my lid, sunrise on my brow bone, probably candle near my tear duct, and a little bit of simmer and flame in my crease. that I have with this palette after using it for the very first time um, is the amount of fallout and sorry if I sound kind of soft I was really really sick yesterday and I have like bronchial spasms and some other issues but whatever um the only complaint that I have with the palette is that there is a lot of fallout I don't know if you guys can see it probably not um, but there is a lot of fallout. I feel like tarts come pretty far with their palettes. Um, the first one that I used was, I want to say 2012, and they are a lot more pigmented and they are a lot more blended since then, so I really shouldn't complain too much. But I don't feel like they're 100% on the same level as some other palettes I've tried. I did get a new liner yesterday, finally! And it is the Tartiste. It comes with two sides. I will be reviewing this in my new video. Um, comes with a regular liner side, a pencil liner, and it comes with the felt tip. So, barely pressing. I love this eyeliner. We're gonna get that applied, get some mascara applied. I'm going to be using the roller lashes as usual just because I am wearing false lashes again. 
and then I'm gonna get Now we're gonna be moving on to face. Today for hydration, I use the Don't Hate Hydrate by Sugar Rush. It's the Tarte line of Sugar Rush. Um, I was really happy with it. It smells really good. It smells like candy. Um, for foundation, I am going to be using the Do You Too Faced Full Coverage Foundation. I will give you a heads up before you just go out and buy this. It's supposed to be a little better for dry skin than oily skin. I'm not sure if the shade's gonna be too close to me, but we're gonna give it a try. I will be using the new Jeffree Star and Morphe Beauty Blenders. We will see how they work out. I've heard good things about them, so hopefully they work really well. I'll probably just be using them for foundation and concealer. I'll be using the big one for foundation, and I'll be using the smaller one under my eyes for concealer.
I'm all finished with my foundation. Um, again, it was the Do You by Too Faced and Almond. I will say I am very, very happy with the coverage. It is a little too dark for my skin. You can probably see it compared to my neck or maybe not on camera. But I think in maybe a month, when I'm a little tanner, it'll be um, <clears throat> better. I also think that once I have concealer and baking powder on, that it won't be so dark. But I am very happy with the finish. I usually don't like the Too Faced foundation lines. I know that's kind of crazy. I don't care for the Born This Way or the Amazonian Clay by Tarte. Um, Born This Way by Too Faced. But this, definitely worth a try if you have drier skin. I will say 100%, this beauty sponge is amazing. It left no lines, nothing. It just blended everything perfectly. Very happy with it. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 04. I'm gonna be dotting that under my eyes, bringing it down in a triangle, and blending it out with the Little Beauty Blender. For a contour, I'm going to be using the Naked Skin Palette that I used the other day and the medium shade in here. Blush, I am going to be using Party. It's kind of old, sorry about the little eyelash glue on the top. It is a Tarte single shade. I've had it for a while, but this is what it looks like. So I'm going to be contouring under my cheeks and my forehead again, getting my blush on, and then I'm going to be doing my baking powder, and we'll go on with my new Anastasia Glow Kits. bake my face today but I decided against it. I'm gonna be moving on to highlight which is probably my favorite part of makeup and I got this new I know it's not a new kit but it's new to me it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in sugar look at that it's beautiful and I am gonna be using the butterscotch shade Good apple. lips today I'm gonna to be starting out with a hemp's sugarcane and papaya exfoliating lip balm I actually really like this I tried it for the first time yesterday it has little sugar crystals in it I'll usually just put it on rub it in and then wipe it off I don't like the sugar you can just eat it apparently but I'm not really into that either so we'll just rub them together
and once you feel like they're exfoliated enough go ahead and just wipe it off or do whatever you want with it new product that I got is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This is what it looks like. And this is the shade Peach Sickle. If I can get that to focus. I really like it. It's very, very soft. It goes on like a gloss. I don't like lip glosses, but I like this one because it feels like a lip balm or a chapstick. And the color is really good, but I also feel like it gives a nice hydration. Our last step, as usual, is going to be setting spray. I'm going to be using the new Anastasia Dewy Set. This is what it looks like. And it's got a good spray on it. I was very impressed. It's nice and misty. Sorry. And it smells so good. It smells like summertime. It does say that it is a coconut infused, I want to say. I'd have to read the box again, but we're just going to spray that all over our face and it's going to give you kind of a dewy look. So if you want more of a matte makeup look, this isn't the spray for you. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any comments or criticisms, constructive or not, let me know. And if you have any requests too. But thanks guys for watching. I'll see you later.